as a longtime fan, I can't not tell you how happy I was when Mike Portnoy came to see you guys play on this tour. And you mm. acknowledge him in the crowd. Uh, what did that night feel like? Well, uh, so what happened was uh, my manager, mm. this is like two hours before the show. Right. So you know the history yeah. uh, with Mike and I. You know, of course. the thing is what, what was sad about that whole duration where Mike and I didn't see eye to eye is that when when Dream Theater started and Images and Words and Awaken that, Mike and I were best friends, mm -hmm. you know, way back. And then we started to fall apart for several reasons. But, you know, um, it, it doesn't matter. The details don't matter. It's just that we started to have a, a problem with one another. Right. And so about two hours before the New York show, my manager texted me and he said, listen, Mike's going to be there tonight. He wants to come back and see you. He wants mm -hmm. to make amends. Uh, I don't mean to do that. And I said, Frank, to my manager, I said, mm -hmm. you're putting this in my lap two hours <laughs> before I play in front of how many thousands of people in New yeah. York? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and so I thought about it. You know what? I went for a walk, believe it or not. I, I went in incognito and I yeah. went for a walk in New York and um, I walked the streets and I started thinking about it. And I said to myself, you know what? Enough is enough. There's enough hate in this world. There's enough freaking negativity in this world. Uh, if Mike wants to come and see me and make amends, then I should be receptive. And uh I got in touch and John Petrucci was also there. Like, so he said, you know, well, you know, Mike, Mike wants to know if he can come back and say hi to you. And blah, 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 like I just mm -hmm. said, and I said, you know what? Yeah. Let him know for sure. Tell him to come back and see me after the show. And we'll chat. And that's what we did. We chatted. We had a good long discussion. Uh, we uh, made up and gave each other a hug and did a picture together. And, and when I was out on stage before all that, I just said, Hey, I just want to let you guys know that Mike Portnoy is here. Hey, welcome brother to the show. Bah, 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 bah. Uh -huh. And that was it. And so, you know, the thing is, is that you get to a point in life where, you know, you, you gotta, you know, you hope that you, you can't carry around that. Don't carry around hate. Don't carry around negativity. We carried it around far too long to be as, as far as I'm concerned, you know, and it didn't serve any purpose. It just served freaking division. It, it was very divisive and very damaging. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's 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 great. You know, hey, listen, just the other day, Mike texts me and he was like, hey, James, just want to congratulate you on the Grammy. You freaking mm -hmm. well deserve this. You know, you and the band. Awesome kudos bravo all this stuff and you know and i text mike back and i said frick man mike that's very admirable of you i said in my book that's pretty damn cool for you to say these things and he said awesome man love it so yeah. you know it's great to be back like we're talking to one another we're you know we're, we're chatting and all that stuff and and that's the, the kind of world that i want to live in as opposed to negativity hate and freaking you know it, it's just not worth it it's not yeah worth it. I mean, I guess I speak on behalf of all the fans.